Kyle has our forecast now. Yeah, and an updated outlook here from the Storm Prediction Center just came in minutes ago, and it did kind of center the enhanced look here, the enhanced risk of severe weather just north and northwest of the Omaha metro. But the entire KETV viewing area is still under the slight risk of severe weather for later on today, mainly this evening and into early tonight. So although Omaha not in the enhanced risk anymore, if you're in the KETV viewing area, you need to stay weather aware later on today and tonight. For most of these storms, it'd be a large hail and damaging wind threat, but we can't rule out isolated tornadoes, especially in this area by late afternoon and into this evening. Now, we still have a few storms around here. These are sub severe, but lots of lightning being indicated by these little white dots. So, uh, lightning strikes across Polk and into parts of Butler County over the last 15 minutes. Some heavier rain in there, just not severe weather. The rain that was approaching the metro kind of fizzling out, but some raindrops, some sprinkles, a few light showers are mixing in. After this pushes out, still a lot of clouds expected through the rest of today, which may not warm us up quite as much. Likely a factor in that updated outlook. Uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. Either way, we'll still warm up quite a bit. There is a lot of moisture in the air. We'll have this frontal boundary set up just to the north of the metro by late afternoon and evening. So the ingredients are there for some severe thunderstorms to finish off the day. Still a lot of clouds at at least 70 degrees with a southeast wind close to 10 miles per hour, mid to upper 60s and low 70s across most of the region. So no clear cut front here showing up, at least on the temperature map, but uh, there is kind of this stalled out frontal boundary cutting through parts of central and eastern Nebraska right now. Lots of clouds through the rest of today after that morning rain finishes off. Then by late afternoon, early evening, we watch out mainly northeast Nebraska is where these storms are expected to kind of initiate. But notice they work into a big cluster here for the rest of tonight. So heavy rain also an issue along with the possibility of severe weather. More clouds as we head into Sunday morning. Could get some breaks in the clouds late in the day. Cold front, a weak one at that, will work its way to the south of the metro. A few showers and storms will line up along that. So I did leave a chance of a shower storm even for the metro in the forecast for tomorrow. But high pressure builds in behind this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Look fantastic, at least if you're a uh, fan of summer weather. Lots of sunshine. Look at these highs. 88 Monday and Tuesday, 87. A few extra clouds on Wednesday. Our next chance of rain and some thunderstorms comes late in the day, Thursday, especially Thursday night. There's the potential for some heavier rain in there. We're at 74, the chance of a shower or storm on Friday.